Hello, ladies. Hello. Who's the bride? Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm Danielle. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Helen. Hello, Helen. Introduce me to your entourage. Okay. Today, I've rang my mum and my friend, Chan. So tell me a bit about your fiance. My fiance is called Mickey. We've been engaged for two years now. It took us a while because we had a baby boy and he's just the absolute joy of our lives. What I love about Mickey is he's quite macho, quite Danny Dyerish, and I just can't wait to marry him. So tell me about your wedding in general. It's gonna be a bit of a fairy tale. We are getting married in Quentin Park. It's in Essex. It's a manor house and it's just absolutely stunning. I just want to be Cinderella for the day and pretty and elegant. My body has changed dramatically since being a mother. I have gone this way, that way, every way possible. So I have no idea what's going to fit me, what's going to look nice. Tell me a bit about your budget. My budget is £4,000. Perfect. Right, I'm going to send you off to the fitting room. I'm going to go do Thank some shopping. You. Okay. Since Helen's not sure what will fit her new mum figure best, Danielle would be well to select a range of silhouettes. Let's think big. And as Helen wants to feel like a princess, why not start with the obvious? A classic Cinderella style with a big tulle skirt. This has got your sweetheart neckline. Yes. You've got a really nice long train on this. This dress is a princess dress. I'm so excited to try this dress on. How are you feeling in this gown? I hate it. I hate the way I feel. I feel like I look fat. Oh, my God. I'm not too keen on the top half, and my arms look really big. I just don't feel very nice. It's not special enough. She is not fat. I think it comes down to the fact that Helen's body conscious in this dress, mm -hmm. and she needs something on the bodice to make her feel more secure. Not special. It's not got the glamorous vibe to it either. I thought I was going to feel amazing, like a princess, but I feel rubbish. I'm just going to feel fat in every dress. It's horrible. I look hideous, and I don't think I could look at myself in the mirror anymore, to be honest. Right. On that note, let's just get you out of here. Yes, please. Let's get you out. I look awful. I feel disgusting. I definitely hate my arms in this dress. So this next one. Yep. It's fitted within the body. You've got your bling on it. You've also got the straps on it. How do you feel about that? This dress, looking at it on the hanger, I don't want to try it on. It's like my worst nightmare. I feel like I'm going to look like a sausage in it. Don't worry. It's going to make me look skinny. It's not uncommon to be concerned about fit in a fishtail, but I think Helen's going to like her figure more in this silhouette. So, I thought I was going to look like a sausage. But to be honest, I don't think I do. It's you okay. do not look like a sausage it at all. Okay. I'm really shocked. Actually, I quite like the look of this dress. It's making me look slim and it's giving me so much more confidence. It's nice. Right, so let's go find out what the okay. girls think. I'm excited to show my entourage this dress. I hope they like it like I do. How do you feel in this dress? And it covers me all up here at the top where I was feeling really paranoid about. Do you feel like a bride? I definitely feel like a bride with this one. Slim round for me. Thank you. Mother? It's dreadful. Really? Sorry. Dreadful? It's absolutely dreadful. dreadful. It just doesn't fit properly. It doesn't <laughs> flow properly. No. Oh, my at God. All. No. No. Oh, my At God. At all. I Not even like bothered trying any more no. of this kind of style of, no. Like... All this. Nice. Helen's anxious to find a frock that fits her new mum figure. This glam fishtail style has won over our bride, but not her mother. OK. Well, if my mum doesn't feel it, mm. I need my mum to like it. I'm not fighting for this dress because I just know deep down it's not the one. And if she says dreadful, it's dreadful. I do think that I'd like to try on some more princessy dress. Right then. Let's go for the princess. My mummy's making me feel quite anxious. <laughs> I feel a bit sick and I'm scared to go out there a little bit now to see what she's going to say. But hopefully, the, the next one's going to be a winner. If it isn't, I'm going to cry. Unlike the first princess dress, this one has a corset back, which will give her a great shape. And it has the sparkle she wants. 
Mm. No matter what my mum's going to think, I'm going to love it. Let's get you in it then. Yay! I want to feel good about myself and I know if that dress doesn't fit, that perfect dress, I'm just going to be so upset. How does this dress feel? This feels lovely. This dress could be the one. Oh, my God. That is a princess. Oh, wow. How are you feeling in this dress? I feel like a princess in this dress. I think it's so pretty and big and just so pretty. Could you see yourself walking down the aisle? <laughs> yeah, I think. This dress is absolutely beautiful, just like a princess. It's amazing. I actually like it. Do you like it, Mum? Yes, I'm, I'm even surprised that I like it. Don't just like it cos I like it. It's very flattering. It, is I it like quite it. flattering? Yes, yes, it is. Absolutely. It's got the yeah. sparkle, sparkle, it's got the glamour. Yeah. I think it's because the bodice on it yes. is so much more flattering than yes. the first yeah. dress. This does so much more for you. It like accentuates the waist and holds everything nicely in place. Yeah. I would like to see what it would look like with, with the strap, straps, straps on, because this is not the dress without anything. I don't mind my figure in this because it's kind of hidden away a little bit with this big puffy skirt, but I'm not too keen on the top half without straps. Right, should we spin you round? Yes, please. Um, no, no. Mum, it's just not happening no, up here, is it? No, straps doesn't do any justice. I thought straps would make this dress look beautiful and I thought it would complete the dress exactly how I want it. But unfortunately, it just made it look really horrible and it was not my dream dress anymore. Everything else is perfect, exactly what I want. It is literally just this area here. I hate my arms and all this being out. And I really, really love this dress and I just feel if I was a little bit slimmer and a bit more toned up here, I'd like it. I think maybe today's not the day and I think maybe mm. I should go away and come back and look for a dress at another date. I'm really not body ready. I don't feel very confident and I don't feel very comfortable. I'm just not there yet. You need to come back when you're fully ready for a I'm dress. Confident with myself. Confident, yes. And then obviously that would just make the dress feel more confident. I've learnt a lot today on what looks good, what doesn't. So I'm going to take that with me. And I think that when I find the dress, I'm just going to know. People always say, you know when you put on that dress. So I think I'm just going to feel it. Thank you so much for all your help. It's easy to get overwhelmed when nothing fits the way you want it to. And sometimes taking some time out can be the best course of action.